Sun High School students participated in the 46th Annual International Fest on April 26. A controversy arise, but students managed to continue on. Let's take a look at some of the performances. <laughs> So how do you guys think you did in the performance? I think we did okay, but I'm honestly not sure. Because, you know, I haven't seen us, us perform, you feel me, but I think we did fine. Yeah, same. <laughs> What did you guys do in your acting? Um, well, we danced a lot, and it was just like more fast dances versus slow because in Nigerian culture, we're really fast in movement, and it's just like in our dance, we just love to have fun. perform right now right so how do you guys feel very like overwhelmed like I could feel like adrenaline but overall tired <laughs> tired very tired but we like got a better feel for the crowd and stuff so we do better I feel excited for what tonight might look like, so. Yeah, definitely excited for tonight's show. I'm sure there'll be a bigger crowd and we'll, we'll get the audience going. I am to that news. It runs in my veins. I feel it in my heart. It is a part of my mind. Could you tell me a little bit about your performance today? So I actually did a spoken word piece um, with my singing bowl and uh, basically I talked about what it's like to be Tibetan, uh, being from a country that is currently occupied by China, um, what it's like to have your freedom and your rights repressed. Carried by my dad to the Himalayas, hidden from the police, on his journey to freedom. think it went pretty good yeah we're confident I think yeah we, we could work on some parts but overall it went much uh, like better than we intend like, we want it to be. <laughs> Although the performances were great, Sun students were upset about the $5 admissions fee as International Fest has been free in previous years. I feel like as though if you are a student, you should be able to come to a school event during school. People have stuff to do after school, like work. I honestly don't like that because as you can see, we did like, we had like a small crowd, but I think they should have at least made it for free where everybody come and watch and the crowd would be like hype. We should not pay to see different cultures at a school. We shouldn't pay to see all the millions of like representations of where where we are, and just I just hope it's just more open and accessible to students. Kendall Jackson Jr. spoke to Principal Mary Beck. Um, so one of the things that we wanted to do was make sure that we minimized the loss of class time. So to have two. The only way we could fit everybody into the auditorium would be to have two performances, which meant that those students, many of whom are taking IB tests this week and last week, would then be pulled out of class for multiple uh, events. And so that was one of the reasons why we only had one show during the day. The reason we charged was because we um, had advertised to students that if they had 95% attendance or above, they'd be eligible to go. 
And because uh, we had so many kids who have awesome attendance, it still was too many kids. So it was almost 1,200 students. We can only fit about 950 in the auditorium. So that was where we said, okay, well, at least if we charge, then we know students will actually want to go. And then ultimately, there's a free performance at 6 p.m. Oscar Marquez sat down with organizer Ellen Domlich to discuss. Yeah, the whole school should be able to attend. I think it's <laughs> ideal because it's a it's a celebration of um, who we are as a community and a school and our wonderful <laughs> diversity, which is always evolving. And uh, and it's it's uh, it's a real celebration. Also, I wanted to say. One of the most exciting things I've noticed over the years that I've been involved um, in International Fest is our students like love performing in, in, with cultures and in, in, in dances that aren't necessarily their own. And that's so great. So like in the lunchroom or in the cafeteria when they're practicing a lot, you know, sometimes I'll have four or five groups and they'll sometimes dance, they'll join each other's groups and they get to you know, know like there are kids who aren't Filipino who danced in the Filipino group and, and there's lots of um, cross joining of groups. So that's a beautiful thing to me. For Sun TV and Rogers Edge reporter, this is Ami Richardson and Oscar Marquez reporting.